quiet, quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Quiet, quiet on the set. Hey guys, welcome to Boba and a Movie. I'm your host, Adrian Za. We got tons of great stuff for you today. We're gonna be checking out a couple of shorts. Uh, her Night, Mavit, and some clips from Girl With Gun. We'll also be checking out some cool features by, uh, some cool uh, clips by uh, Russ and Productions, and lots, lots more. But joining us today on our show is Russ Emanuel, the director of Girl With Gun. Now, Russ, you said you have some uh, special treats for our viewers today. Uh, what would that be? Yes, uh, we um, on this show have my actresses from Girl With Gun. Uh, Tracy O'Connor who plays Gwen Hunter and Michelle Lee who plays Ninja Girl. But before we start the show, let's check in with Daniel for our flavored boba drink of the day. Daniel? Hey, thanks Adrian. Today you guys are going to try it out uh, famous uh, tapioca milk tea, the green apple green tea, Thai tea, and also the jasmine milk tea. Back to you Adrian. Now, now Russell. You're a graduate of USC, University of Southern California, with a cinema television concentration, international relations, and Japanese. Um, you grew up both in Japan and the US. Uh, you wrote your first screenplay in 1993 and had a first directorial debut in 2003 with Her Night, and which we'll see a little bit of later. And you also produced a film titled Mavit uh, with uh, Emel Harris. What else, what, else, what, what else is there? Um, tell us more about yourself. Well, um, in 2002, uh, Emil Harris, as you mentioned before, the director of Mavit, um, and I, we were attending the same class at a UCLA Extension, uh -huh. and we uh, decided to make a film. We were like, you know, why not? Let's just make a film, you know? We might as well, you know? So we uh, had a conception for her night, and this was 2002 in December. And, uh, you know, we did basically everything. Um, I mean, just to backtrack a little, I got experience, uh, the producer's experience by being assistant or producer on a independent uh, feature film called The Failures. And that was shot in August. So based on that and a directing class at UCLA Extension, um, I decided, you know, to make her night with Emil Harris. And so we wrote the screenplay together. We, uh, you know, we had pre-production, we cast, and we shot in January. And then, um, you know, in November, we finished it up. Um, based on the experience of her night, then we made Mavin in 2004. I helped produce a film in, called The Diary, also in 2004. Then we did Girl With Gun. Wow, okay. Right now, we're doing another one called Perfect Red, and, you know, we'll be, uh, I guess, talking about all that later on so okay, cool well um, without further ado let's check out some extensive uh, exclusive uh, excerpts from Girl With Gun awesome. they call me the nightingale I rush in where justice fears to tread What happened? What? Your arm, you dunce. Oh, I, uh, I fell out of bed on that souvenir you two gave me. I want to apologize again for what happened before. I overreacted. This morning's job was a cakewalk. But what if there were more people in that warehouse? Ah! What if my gun jammed? All it takes is one what if to see the light of day. And I'll be pushing up weeds next to some dirt road. Nightingale. Why don't you just finish it? Give yourself a minute or two. You bitch! <laughs> All right, so, so joining us on our show today is Tracy O'Connor and Michelle Lee. Hi. Hey. Hi. Good to see you. Have a seat. Well, thank you guys for coming by. Thank you very much. So uh, how do you like your drinks, first of all? 
Yummy. It's really good. They're yeah. Good. Cool. Cool. Um. Yeah, good. <laughs> so let's start off with Tracy. How did you um, get involved with this project? Um. Well, I was <laughs> on Backstage.com, and oh, uh, the truth is, is that a, a friend of mine that I was studying acting classes with emailed me something, Russ's. A proposal for Girl with Gun that was on Backstage.com, and uh, he suggested that I give it a shot and go in and audition. And um, I hadn't auditioned for anything for a while, and I thought, okay, why not? So, um, based off of his recommendation, I went in and, and auditioned with Russ. Cool. Now, Russ, you had some requirements for the girls to uh, fulfill. What were the What were the requirements for Girl with Gun? Well, first, acting ability, <laughs> of course, um, but. Also, we needed them to um, have martial arts experience. They needed that training, and that was specific in the, um, in the casting call. So, um, Tracy here has black, uh, your black belt uh, in, I think, Kung Fu. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Okay, Taekwondo. And then you are a uh, black belt in Wushu. Wushu. So, that definitely helped when we did the fight sequence. Wow. So, Tracy, tell us about your uh, black belt in Taekwondo. How long have you been studying? Uh, well, you know, I've studied I've studied various forms of martial arts ever since I was about eight years old, seven or eight years old, and my first competition was in Palatine, Illinois, and that was actually when I was studying um, Kempo, karate. So, um, you know, I've just been studying for years. My father is a is a, a brown belt in Taekwondo and a, a black belt in uh, Jiu Jitsu. Oh, cool. So, so I it's kind of in the family. <laughs> so. He's a brown belt and you're a black belt. <laughs> Does that mean you can kick your dad's ass? Basically, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Now, so Michelle, how about you? How did you get involved with this project? Um, same, same deal almost. Um, I auditioned. I saw um, a breakdown for it, and I said, "Hey, martial arts and a really cool, you know, interesting storyline." So I auditioned for it, and uh, I met Russ. Cool. Yeah. And how was the audition process, Russ? Did you uh, have them uh, spar or uh, practice? We did. Uh, no, we did. We. Uh, <laughs> Stuff. We had, uh, well, yeah. depending on the characters, of course, yeah. uh, for Gwen Hunter, uh, the character, mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, several scenes. We had side, uh, it was called sides, that they had to read. Um, and then we had them spar with the uh, martial arts uh, trainer, Sebastian Besh. So, yeah, for Ninja Girl, which is more action intensive, we definitely, uh, you were sparring with Sebastian mm -hmm. and also with the uh, stunt coordinator, Jeff Scott. Mm -hmm. He was there too, so. Definitely. So what were some of the challenges, Tracy and Michelle, uh, while filming um, Girl With Gun that you faced or remembered? <gasps> there are many. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Number one, it was freaking hot. Hot. The heat. <laughs> Inside. Uh, right. Oh, God. It well, we, were, we were in basically <laughs> Van Nuys in a very hot kitchen filming she was for the in first the, day. She was in that hot leather outfit. <laughs> Tell me about the outfit. Uh, Russ, uh, the outfit was... The outfit uh, for those movie buffs <laughs> was used in the Avengers. That's what Uma Thurman wore in the 1998 film wow. Avengers. So we got this That's from right. the Warner Brothers costume <laughs> department. And uh, we had uh, Tracy come in to do a fitting. Because uh, in filmmaking, you, you always have to have a fitting, mm -hmm. you know, just to make sure it fits. So, um, you know, she fit perfectly into it and voila, there you go. Hey. You have the Nightingale, Gwen Hunter right there. Cool. So, okay, how about future aspirations? Any current projects or upcoming projects for you two ladies? Um, um, I do a lot of theater, so I'm working on something um, that is by Christopher Durang, okay. and it's called A History of the American Film. It's a musical and a comedy, which I love to do. So. Oh, wow. oh so you sing? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. No martial arts and agate? Wow, mm -hmm. a whole package. How about you, Michelle? Um, I'm currently in, um, I just worked on a project with Owen Wilson and I got to act opposite him and do some improv stuff cool. on a movie called You, Me, and Dupree. And I also um, just worked on Pirates of the Caribbean 3, not number 2 that's coming out. Number 3, um, it's coming out next summer, I believe, and, um, and it's with Mr. Chow Yun Fat. So how was how was working with Mr. Chow Yun Fat? I mean, it's crazy. He's <laughs> such a nice guy. He's just like open and fun and and making jokes and he, he's like super cool guy. Super cool. Tell us about uh, working with Chow Yun Fat. Um, super cool guy. <laughs> um, he's really fun on set. Always making jokes. Um, always 